Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Tanush and uh, I'm making this video to discuss about uh, the turbulent period and the you know unstable turbulent period which we will all be experiencing in the month of February and March and this is due to some of the conjunctions you know some of the transits which will be seen in a while and this transits and conjunction of different planets are going to impact us because things are going to go very slow uh, we can experience delays we can experience frustration on different fronts and hence this video uh, just to give you a heads up so that uh, we all will be prepared for that we don't uh, we will not react to the situations in a way that you know uh, will have to face consequences in the future right so um, we are we are all aware that currently we are under uh, you know a global kala sarpadosha because all the planets are hemmed between rahu and ketu uh, to know more about that you can uh, actually check my previous video on kala sarpadosha so this is going to be there till april of this year right and uh, it is surely going to exert lot of pressure on uh, planets uh, rahu and ketu they are going to block uh the result giving capacity or capability of all the planets and we might experience delays you know due to this surely in addition to this uh, on 29th of january 2022 venus which was retrograde in the sign of sagittarius has gone direct and it is going to uh, have a very close conjunction with mars right and this mars and uh, venus are going to be in conjunction in the sign of sagittarius uh, for quite some time and uh, they'll be transiting into the sign of uh, capricorn on 27th of february uh, so they'll continue this conjunction of mars and venus even in the sign of capricorn and it's quite significant right because in uh, in capricorn we all know uh, mars becomes exalted saturn is sitting there so we'll be seeing the conjunction of saturn mars and venus and you know obviously mercury is also there uh, till 6th of march i believe right so all these planets are going to conjoin in the sign of a uh, capricorn uh, you know for quite some time and it's surely going to impact so first we'll just you know discuss about uh what is the significance of mars and venus conjunction and then we'll see uh how uh, mars and saturn conjunction would behave and what kind of results we can expect from that right so now this uh, mars and venus is a very very interesting conjunction because mars as we all know is a soldier mars is a go getter you know it's a very uh, passionate planet it believes in getting things done and um it believes in you know uh, uh getting things done uh, very aggressively so whatever aspects mars governs in your particular horoscope or kundali so those aspects will be on the forefront right now venus we all know is a planet which basically represents uh, a relationship which represents you know love which represents romance which also represents uh, enjoying life uh, comforts you know travel luxury uh, different types of food items right so it represents many things but the main focus would be relationship and when mars and venus they conjoin together it brings lot of passion and aggression in relationship because mars is going to extend its nature of impatience of aggression of dominance towards venus right and uh, we'll be seeing all the aspects which venus governs in our particular horoscope being impacted by mars now when mars when two planets or three planets they come together uh, there will always be one planet which actually gives a direction to the other planets and this is the planet which holds the lowest degree so many astrologers say the planet which is in close degrees with the ascendant but this is what i have learned from my uh, astrology teacher um, that you know the planet which holds the lowest degree will be driving the conjunction and it has 
you know, um, the direction giving capability and it drives the conjunction basically in the direction which it signifies in your horoscope, right? So we'll see at times Mars is driving uh, this conjunction and at times Venus is driving this conjunction and it varies. But overall we can see aggression, uh, we, we can see a lot of passion on different fronts which we'll be discussing in a while, right? So it differs from each ascendant to ascendant, right? Now, uh, Mars and Venus will conjoin with each other in the sign of Sagittarius and then they are going to move into the sign of Capricorn where they're, you know, they're going to stay almost for the entire period of March uh, practically, right? So here we'll be seeing the Mars and Saturn conjunction. So Mars and Saturn conjunction is known as the war zone. Why is it like that? Because Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. So the aggressive planet, when it is in the point of exaltation, you know, it is full of energy, right? It is impatient, full of energy. It tries to drive things, you know, in its direction. So like we said, you know, Mars is a soldier. So it's like it's on the war front, you know, uh, trying to uh, deal with situations, whatever it represents. And Saturn in Capricorn also almost like represents the same thing because it's its own sign. Um, and uh, Capricorn as well as Saturn, as we know, it represents, you know, boundaries. It represents, uh, you know, a person having to put in a lot of efforts um, on whatever front uh, that particular house signifies, right? So uh, Saturn expects a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment, uh, you know, a lot of organization skills, a lot of planning. But Mars, when it comes, you know, it is impatient. So it doesn't believe in the philosophy of Saturn. It actually believes in, you know, just going ahead and, uh, and you know, doing things, right? So it doesn't like this planning. It doesn't like to sit and plan things. It is an aggressive planet. It's a soldier. It just, just you know, wants to get out and, and, and you know, do things, um, right? So it believes in getting things done. It doesn't believe in planning, organization and all those things, right? But when it comes into the sign of Capricorn and when it is with Saturn. Now it is forced to behave or acquire um, the qualities which Capricorn and Saturn signifies, right? So now it is forced to think, it is forced to plan, it is forced to uh, organize things and then react to a situation. Now again, you know, like it's a conjunction. So whichever planet <coughs> holds the lowest degree, uh, that would be driving, driving the conjunction. So if Mars is holding the lowest degree, then we can see that, you know, Mars is not going to listen to Saturn. In fact, Saturn will have to uh, follow the path of Mars. But when Saturn holds the lowest degree, you know, uh, so it's much better because Saturn will, uh, you know, it will make Mars to become a little sober, to think before acting and you know to organize things so that is little better we can say and venus here is basically crushed between mars and saturn now saturn is a cold planet any planet which comes in conjunction with um, saturn uh, you know it tries to behave little dry and cold and especially when venus comes here venus as we all know represents our emotion our bonding relationship you know um, so uh, when Venus specially comes here, Venus basically loses the quality of uh, emotional bonding and the love part of it, which it basically represents, right? So we can see the relationships becoming little dry. Uh, Mars again adds to the aggression. So we can see uh, people trying to dominate, uh, you know, others, maybe spouse or whatever uh, relation Venus signifies, right? So we can see that dominance part there, right? Also, right now we are seeing Sun and Saturn conjunction and Sun Saturn conjunction in the sign of Capricorn. It basically brings a lot of dissatisfaction towards the government policies. And we are, we are seeing that, you know, the budget has come and not many people are happy with it. So um, we can see this criticism of government uh, prevail till this conjunction is there, right? And Mars and Saturn conjunction basically is a war zone. So we can expect things to go bad during this period because it's a period of aggression. So we can expect 
a warlike situation uh, between countries which don't go along well or which already have conflicts. So uh, we can surely expect that um, in the coming time, right? Uh, but uh, April is going to be a very stable month. Things are going to be wonderful. The Kal Sarpadoshi is, you know, which is formed uh, for everyone is going to break. Um, Saturn is going to transit into its Mool Trikon Rashi of Aquarius, which is excellent. Saturn does very good there. Uh, it's quite stable, quite comfortable and uh, not very uh, strict in the sign of Aquarius. Um, Jupiter is going to transit in the sign of into the sign of Pisces. So Jupiter Pisces is a sign of you know peace and tranquil. So Jupiter is going to into that is going to get into that zone. So Jupiter, which was quite troubled for last two years, is now getting into its own sign uh, where it is quite peaceful. <coughs> and Rahu and Ketu are going to transit their signs again in the month of April. So April is going to be a very significant month. From April, we are going to see a lot of stability uh, throughout the entire world, right? So these two months are going to be a little challenging. So let's be prepared for that. Let's not overreact to the situations. Uh, let's, you know, um, think before we talk or we take any decision. Otherwise, it will impact, you know, relationships. It will impact on various fronts like our career because we'll see in a while uh, that different ascendants are going to um, experience this uh, uncertainty and instability on various fronts, right? So now let us start, uh, you know, ascendant wise and I'll just touch base, you know, uh, what uh, what challenges each ascendant can expect. And for some of the ascendants, uh, this, uh, this uh, conjunction is actually quite good. Now for Aries ascendant, <coughs> You guys can feel the pressure and uncertainty and instability in the areas of family, in the area of marriage and especially at the workplace because, uh, because you know, um, Capricorn is your 10th sign. So Mars getting there is surely going to create a lot of aggression. So um, again, 7th house is ruled by Venus. So uh, you have to be a little careful when you deal with your spouse as well as your business partner. Don't let aggression overpower you because Aries is ruled by Mars. Aries is known for aggression. You know, Aries is known for impatience, right? So if you if you let, uh, uh, you know, Mars overpower you because Mars is going to get into a very powerful spot, right? If you let that overpower you, then you will have to face a lot of consequences, especially in your marriage, in your relationships. But it is going to, uh, you know, give you a wonderful opportunity on your work front because Mars along with Saturn is in the 10th house. Mars is exalted there, right? So you can expect good things to happen on your career front. <clears throat> now for Taurus Ascendant, you can feel the pressure and uncertainty in the areas of your health because 6th house is involved. Your daily routine might seem to go out of your hand. You may not be able to uh, keep up with the timetable which you plan. Uh, you will have to deal with your enemies during this time. So be a little careful. There can be hidden enemies during this time. So be very careful. And if you are planning to take, uh, you know, undertake some journeys, then you will have to be cautious during the journey. So uh, you can experience, you know, at the workplace, the environment might seem volatile, but things are going to be very good. Uh, from April, especially for Taurus, because uh, Saturn is going to transit your 10th house, which is its Mool Trikon Rashi. It's going to do tremendous good for you, believe me. And Jupiter, which is a lot of your 11th house as well, is going to transit into your 11th house, right? So the 10th, house, 10th, uh, 10th Lord in 10th house, 11th Lord in 11th house is going to do excellent for you. So be prepared for that. Keeping that in mind, you know, just uh, be relaxed, uh, you know, so that this period will pass away. Now, coming to Gemini Ascendant, um, the main focus during this period would be your health, would be a relationship with your in-laws and trying to save the money or the joint assets with your spouse or with your partner. Because this transit and conjunction of planets are going to happen in your 8th house. 
especially in the month of March, right? So already we can see Sun and Saturn are right now in your eighth house, along with your uh, the Lord of your ascendant Mercury, which is retrograde. It is surely giving you a lot of health issues. Surely you will have irritation with the government during this period. Uh, you will feel the government policies are against you and uh, you will not be able to save money. You will have ego issues with your in-laws. You are already facing that. And to add to that, when Mars actually comes there, then it's going to be like very aggressive period. Uh, but this conjunction is going to help you at workplace. Uh, so you will work very hard and you will achieve your targets. Excellent period for engineers and especially people in uh, who are involved in research work. It is going to be an excellent period. So you can focus on that areas, leave all the area, all the other areas aside uh, for time being. And this this conjunction will do tremendous good for you. Take care of your health. You will have you know some uh, minor health issues, especially related to stomach. Now for Cancer Ascendants, uh, you can feel the pressure in the area of marriage, spouse, uh, business partnership. You will find you know a lot of ego issues with them. So uh, my suggestion would be uh, it's again a period of two months. So try to think from the perspective of your spouse or your partner so that you don't react in a uh, hurry or you don't re you don't react aggressively so try to respond in a proper way think from other person's perspective uh, you have to demand uh, demonstrate a lot of maturity in relationship to have a stable period otherwise you are going to have problems with your spouse and business partners for sure now at the same time at work it's going to be a very good place you might even uh, get into a leadership role so, you know, on one front, it's going to be very good, uh, but on the other front, yes, there will be issues. Now, uh, again, you know, focus on areas where uh, where this conjunction is going to do good for you. And, you know, you can neglect the other areas for time being and things would be better for you, right? Now, for Leo Ascendant, uh, you can feel this instability and pressure uh, in your dealings with your children. So, you'll find that your relationship with the children is not very well or you will have some ego issues with them children uh, children might uh, might not listen to you so uh, it might create little frustration uh, for time being and those who are leo ascendant students for them especially this is going to be a little confusing one because they'll be confused with their uh, education with their subjects but it's a temporary period now the mass saturn conjunction which is going to happen in your sixth house is extremely powerful and this will help you uh, to conquer your enemies if any court cases are going on then they will surely uh, go in your direction try to put effort you know on those fronts if you are into some competition or if you are athlete or into sports then this period will actually uh, give you a lot of uh, you know a lot of hope and a uh, lot of mileage i would say so if you are into some competition you can even win that competition uh only thing is take care of your health because you know sun is with saturn right now so once uh, sun moves out on 12th of february then you know your health will be a little better or much better i would say <coughs> excuse me now for virgo ascendant you can feel uh, this instability or pressure at your home front and with the children right so um, you might experience little power struggle at your home so it's 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 going on the period is going on so you'll have power struggle with your spouse with your father mother with your children uh, that would be there you know and uh, the what do you say the mentality to dominate and show that you are the boss would prevail in you and you have to stay away from that otherwise it will uh, you know give you a lot of issues in the future so uh, the sun and sat the the saturn mars venus and mercury conjunction which will happen in the month of march in the fifth house is good for you for uh, stock market so if you are dealing with stock market then you know it's going to be a good period so try to invest uh, consciously 
after doing a lot of research and you will get very good gains. Again, because it's happening in your fifth house, you will experience the same power struggle which you are exper experiencing at your home with the children, right, in the month of March. So, uh, focus again on the work front and things will be better for you. Now, for Libra, you can feel the pressure and uh, uncertainty into your relationships at home front. Uh, power struggle again at home front for you too will be there in the month of February for you. And, uh, you know, the same thing with children as well. Now, try to contain the aggressive feelings at home to avoid clashes, right? And uh, because Mars and Venus are going to be together, uh, together for a long period of time, so you might uh, try to dominate your spouse, you might also uh, try to overpower them. So try to avoid that. But your health is going to be very good during this period. Uh, you, would, you would love to travel, you would love to have good food, enjoy your life, So which is fine, right? So as long as you're not, you don't have any disputes with your spouse, I think it should be fine. Now for Scorpio, the uh, Sun-Saturn conjunction will bring responsibility towards your siblings and you're already experiencing that from past probably 16, 17 days. Uh, and uh, you'll also feel the same frustration towards the government and the government policies. Uh, you can feel, you know, that your relationship with the siblings are stained. Uh, but during this period, you can see your courage will be all time high. And if you were planning to start something new, some new venture or, you know, some new business, and this is a perfect time, you will have, you know, uh, all the help required from planetary perspective. Uh, so you can go ahead with that. Now for Capricorn, your ascendant is uh, very important for you because all the things are happening in your ascendant, right? Now, uh, the February month might have uh, been, you know, bought a lot of expenses on luxuries, you know, outings, travels and pleasure. The Sun-Saturn conjunction especially uh, might have bought a lot of health issues, right? So the, the expenditure and travel was related to the Mars and Venus conjunction, which is happening in your 12th house. Whereas the Sun-Saturn conjunction in your ascendant has indeed uh, bought a lot of health issues to you. Uh, some health issues related to heat or, you know, uh, some minor problems you might be facing. Uh, and when March is going to come here, then it's going to be a little troublesome for you, right? Uh, March month will make you very aggressive and uh, the impact can be felt at your home front as well as uh, in your network circle. So try to uh, contain the passion and aggression. Otherwise, things will go bad at your home as well as in your network circle, you might lose friends as well during this period. Now for Aquarius Ascendant, February month is looking better for you. Uh, you will purchase again luxury items, you will travel to different places, enjoy your life, eat different kinds of foods, you will have, uh, you know, get together with friends and everything. But the March month is little tricky. Uh, so keep a tab on your expenditure and avoid travel during this period. Otherwise for you, this transit is kind of okay. It's not so bad. Right now for Pisces, this transit of planets is the best for Pisces ascendant, right? Uh, February month can see increase in income and uh, you getting into a very powerful position at your workplace, right? And you'll, you are going to enjoy this position. Uh, you, you would love that authority which you, which you will be getting or which you are already got in the last month of January, you'll be very happy with that. You'll enjoy that position. March month is going to be very exciting for you. You will have multiple sources of income. So if you were planning different things, then this is the period where you can actually see uh, things happening, right? Uh, so be prepared for that. You will be very, very active in your network circle. You are going to meet, uh, you know, highly influential people in the society at your work as well as probably in the government also as well uh, you, you you'll meet people in authority uh, you you might plan you know to do some uh, some projects with them if you are involved in government service so a wonderful period for Pisces ascendant 
this couple of months just you know enjoy your period make use of it so guys these were my thoughts on uh, the transit of planets and the conjunction of saturn sun you know mars venus mercury right so uh, if you like my video please subscribe to my channel i'll be back with another interesting video soon thank you so much for watching